This is a recording for a Tableau dashboard with AWS Athena. Here I'm showcasing a Tableau dashboard that has already been created and exported into a PowerPoint format. It can be shared with users. The source for this was a Tableau desktop where I have a dashboard which was created using various different worksheets. Very quick and easy. The underlying data over here resides on Amazon S3 in a CSV file. The original data source was downloaded from Kaggle it's a heart disease database and I can show you a sample here picking the format of CSV show a preview it has around 10 fields and 17,000 records comma separated with person ID gender age hypertension is a variable with 0 and 1, heart disease 0 and 1, ever married, ever married as yes or no, and a few other fields including BMI and smoking stars. The CSV was downloaded from a Kaggle heart healthcare data set. Uh, up over here, it says healthcare data set stroke data. And the primary use case was for machine learning. I picked the test file and uploaded it to my S3 location I showcased earlier. Beyond this, this can be exposed as tables and columns via Athena. And the way to do is, is create an external table, identify the fields and the data type, and most importantly, the location of the S3 file. This now allows me to do query of data. An example over here is standard SQL queries uh, from the database and the table name. And I'm here grouping gender and average age. Can pretty much write any SQL syntax query over here. The syntax may differ every once in a while. This is to showcase how to connect to Amazon Athena. As you can see, this option already shows up. But for the first time, you would click the More button and then pick Athena. It's going to ask you for four parameters, the server name, primarily the region for where you are exposing the data as Athena table, a staging area where it's going to write your queries, and the access key and secret which you create as a user in AWS and provide certain privileges. I haven't done very restrictive privileges. I've given full access. This can be restricted as much as you want. I've given some other Athena full access as well, including administrator, which may not be needed. It can be as fine controlled as we want. I have the username password here. I'm just going to copy the password. Going back to Tableau, providing information, sign in. It's going to log in. It's going to showcase your Athena and the catalog. By default, there is an AWS data catalog, and then the database and the table that you created. In my case, Athena Tableau as a database, and I have one table in it. Upon double clicking, it's going to show me the data over here. Automatically update, update now. Also shows the, the data type of the particular Athena table. These are strings, these are numbers, and you could create some other Boolean types as well. Gives you a very quick way of looking at 
what the data is. You can change, find other things. You can apply other filters just like you would in Tableau. 